At least two women are recovering from terrible injuries following a boating accident Saturday. It happened in the playpen area. Witnesses say they knew immediately something was wrong after watching a boat reversing through the water. WGN's Brona Tumblety spoke today with one of those witnesses. Brona. Good evening, guys. That boat collided with a group of people badly injuring two women with everyone in shock and panicking in the water. Lives could have been lost were it not for a rather unusual boat in the right place at exactly the right time. I knew something was wrong. My friend that took the video, he also knew something was wrong. Ted Wyden was in the playpen Saturday and among many people who witnessed a horrific accident. I saw this one Sea Ray boat backing up, abnormally backing up a very, very long distance um, between my boat and a friend of mine's boat. And he came between us and then kept backing up, backing and backing up. And then it slammed into a group floating on a mat next to another boat. Probably eight or ten people were sitting on, swimming on that lily pad as that guy came into the lily pad. And when you're in reverse, you literally suck people into your propellers. Everyone around was anchored and couldn't help those panicking and injured in the water. They're in shock, you know, they need, they need to, they don't have life preservers and they were all looking for, you know, something, someone to save them. And that's where this boat and Ted's friend Mark, who didn't want to be on camera, came into play. He was in the right boat at the right exact time and in the video it shows him just coming up from behind like a saint sent in there to save these people. We showcased the AMP boat about a week ago on WGN because it's pretty unique. So we happen to be the sales reps of this really cool boat with wheels. And every weekend we drive around the playpen to show people how cool the boat it is. And it has cutouts. And these cutouts have been used by the military, Coast Guard and all that stuff to literally help people bring bodies and people onto the boat if they're injured. And that's exactly what Merrick did, pulling a husband and wife out of the water. One of the girls that had the hand injury, she was hugging and holding on to her husband, trying to, she was in shock, freaking out drowning him by literally crawling up on him to keep her out of the water. The police jumped onto the boat minutes later, <laughs> telling Merrick to get everyone to Navy Pier where ambulances were waiting. That woman's hand had been mangled in the crash. Uh, my partners talked to the people and, they were, and they, this morning after a nine hour surgery uh, that she went through to put things back together as best they could. A second woman, we're told, lost part of her leg. Far more severe injuries. Authorities were able to get to her separately, with all involved thankful this boat just happened to be there when it was needed most. We're <laughs> trying to show people this is a really cool boat that you can drive up on a lawn. Who would have thought it'd be also a boat that could save people's lives? So it's really pretty amazing. Now we do know that the boat that reversed into that group of people was being dealt with yesterday by the Coast Guard for several hours. We checked in with authorities today. We're told no one is currently in custody, but a full investigation is, of course, underway. We're on the lakefront. Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.